What up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys one very simple trick to edit 10 times faster in Adobe Audition. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be the main workflow that I usually do. So what I'm gonna do is go into my history, and as you can see, what I did was noise reduction, dynamics, normalize, hard limit, and then normalize again. This isn't gonna be like a tutorial on how to apply each of these effects. You can check out my Skillshare class for that. But this is basically gonna be how to apply any set of effects really, really quickly. Assuming that your recordings usually have average geeks around negative 12 to negative 18. It was a pretty quick edit, but however, there is a faster way of doing this. And I do think you should noise reduce on your own. So that's something we're not gonna use this technique for. And what I'm gonna do is hit Command Shift X. And this is not a shortcut that is automatically there. It's something that I created on my own. So it's applying the hard limiter, applying the dynamics, applying normalization. And it's probably not going to be quite there, but it definitely was faster than what we just did before. I'm going to do negative five. And now we have basically the same result, but faster. And how exactly did I do that? Let's go to the history again to see what happened. So what happened was I noise reduced and then I hit command shift X and it did a hard limiter. It did dynamics and then it did normalization. And basically I did hard limiter and normalize again. But the way I did this is I created a favorites to contain these three actions right here, which is hard limiter, dynamics, and normalization. So go to favorites, you can see it, it's called optimize audio quickly, or I called it that. And you can see the shortcut right here. So I'm gonna recreate this shortcut for you guys after noise reducing. What you need to do is hit favorites, start recording favorites, just click okay. I'm gonna hard limit to I believe I set it to around negative five. So I'm gonna hard limit to negative five. Then I'm gonna do dynamics. I believe I set it to around negative 22. And you can see all the settings that I have right here. Hit apply, then normalize. And what I'm gonna do is actually add an additional minus four and normalize again. So this favor is gonna be slightly different in that it has those two actions added on. Now I'm gonna stop recording the favorite. I'm gonna call this one fast editing. Click OK. And after creating that, you can see it right here. And it doesn't quite have a shortcut key. You need to apply it yourself. Go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and then find Fast Editing. It basically has the name that you created. And you can just click here and let's say Control N or, or just N. Now that's fast editing. I don't really want that, but that's how you would set it up. Just click here and create a combination. So let's go back to the noise reduction and test it out. Now you can click on fast editing. It's applying the hard limiter by itself, applying the dynamics by itself, applying the normalization, another hard limiter, and then another normalization. So as you can see, the favorites basically did exactly what I did when I recorded it. And that's just a really fast way of editing um, if your levels are generally the same between different recordings. And if you did want to change like a certain level, you can just go to edit favorites, find your favorite, fast editing. And if you click twice on it, you can change the exact setting that you want. Let's say I wanted negative four instead, and then save it. So just double click on any effects that you wanted to change save and basically it'll save for you. Okay, so that is the main trick for how to edit a lot faster in Adobe Audition. I use this trick mainly when I'm editing like a bunch of voiceovers for like a very, very similar type of video that I recorded back to back so that I don't have to always go through the um, four to five steps every single time. And it definitely does speed up the process by a lot. So if you don't have the favorites tool in your arsenal quite yet, I highly recommend implementing this trick right away. And again, if you wanna learn about each of those steps and how they work, you can check out my Skillshare class. I'll leave a link down below. And if you use my link, it'll be 30 days free. So you can just watch through the class and unsubscribe if you don't wanna continue with Skillshare. Regardless though, if you have your own way of doing things, you can always stack these effects back to back, like adding a certain EQ and adding the standard stuff like compression and normalization. So it doesn't have to be these exact effects. It can be any workflow that you want, as long as your starting point is a similar audio level. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider giving the video a like and subscribing. Feel free to leave any questions down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.